Live chat. Watch out. I'm live. live I'm live. It's alive. Hey, YouTube friends. I'm pulling up my chat. I've got to get your live link. Do it. That sounds like. Isn't there like a thing called Life Link? Is that where you like <coughs> like you um Life get link. an alert call if you uh, yeah. need help or something? Yeah, that's right. But I'm getting your live link. The live link. Am I subscribed link. to you? It, I am subscribed to you on YouTube. Oh. You're subscribed to me? I'm subscribed to you. <laughs> oh. That makes me feel good. Um Hey, your page looks good. Popping out my chat. Yeah, getting that. And we're gonna scooch it over. I'm so flattered that you are subscribed that, to me. That, I, that your wife subscribes to you? Mm -hmm. I should unsubscribe. They! <laughs> Don't do that. I'm gonna scroll down a little, would you rather? Let's see. Let's see, what am I doing? Okay. Oh, I need to get a picture of you. All right, I'm about to head to the bar. Get with. over there on your Because I got my stuff ready get now. Get to your station, man. Hurry up. Hustle, hustle. I need a new sponge. New sponge acquired. My camera looks a little crooked. Smile. Smile for me. What is that? Show me a smile. Show me a smile. Oh man, I just added it to stories without putting a link. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just let's take another picture. Have that one be there out of context. All right, sorry guys, I'm making my camera more better. Straighten wow. that. Whoa! Almost fell down. I was tripped over my own foot. That would have been crazy. Well, again. No, flex. 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 Do flex. Do best flex. Where's Bert? Bert. Where you, oh, wait, Bert. No, no, no peeking at where Bert is. Because that's no, where he's no, going to be. Inconspicuous. Nobody one. noticed. Is oh, Bert wearing Bert. a clay Roman helmet? <laughs> it's, his, it's a beanie. Oh, my goodness. Don't hold Bert. Uh, I don't. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm young, I'm young. That's, that's what you want to do. That's what we'll do. Uh, that's the uh, that's the link for my live stream. You get me and you get Bert. Hey, me and Bert are going to Hollywood. I'm gonna say Chad and Bert are streaming. I'm gonna cover Bert a little bit with the U with the YouTube link logo. No, no, no. I feel like Bert, Bert, Bert looks naked and he's in your hand and it's weird. <laughs> look at look. You are a forty year old man with a little action figure sitting in your hand and he's covered in dirt and he's. No, and he's got a hat. He's wearing a loincloth and a beanie, <laughs> Chad. <laughs> Hello, Cleanthus. I hope oh, you're well Lord. today. Welcome to you. Oh, man. I already got my apron dirty. Oh, my God. I need to put a sensor. But I didn't call it a robe. Is that what I called it one day? Yeah. Or my right. robe. My robe, notice, my robe is clean. My apron is clean. Bert needs an apron. <clears throat> Okay. Will you sew Bert a little apron? I am mix? not sewing things for your action figure doll. <clears throat> Cleanthus says hi. By hello. The way. And Meg says hello. Hope you're well, Cleanthus. I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Got major allergies today. Me and Meg took a walk. Oh, he just auto spelled into Buit. Buit? <laughs> He's called by many different names. Is Bert with an E or Bert, a U? Uh, Bert. I've heard people Is call him Bert. Bert. A U R. Or a I spell it with a U. Okay, me too. Okay. But you can spell it with an E. And it'd be like Bert and Ernie. Good, a warm welcome to you guys. The live streams have been massively fun this week. Thoroughly enjoyed them. And maybe this one will continue on the same way. Off to a great start already. Got some clay. Got some Bert. Got some Megs. Got some Bert. Got some Calanthus. Good friends hanging out, doing the chit chat and the jib jabbing. That is indeed the plan. If I cover Bert's bottom half with the tie, it's gonna look like really he doesn't have pants on because it's like I'm trying to cover it. I don't know what to do about Bert. I just wish he wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Bert's a problem for me. Megan does not like Bert. Oh, I'm posting it, and you look really excited to have that little man in your hand. <laughs> it's going up. Uh, am I manhandling? You're manhandling him. <laughs> oh, wow. There's your dad joke for the day. Day, yep. Yep, dad joke for the day right there. Anyways, it's been a good day, except for the allergy thing. Got a little allergies going on. Got a little bit of a headache going on because of the allergies, I feel like. All but, right. 
Okay. It has been a good day. He's pottering. What are you going to do? I have to hurry and do my story so I don't interrupt his stream. You can interrupt We're multi-streaming right now. We're not. We're just chilling. No. We're chilling on the stream. We're YouTubing and Instagramming. Is that legal? Can you do both of those? You can do those things. <laughs> My new friend is here. A Abdo is here. Hey, what are you making? Hi, Abdo. Welcome to you. I'm making mugs. What? Imagine that. Mugs? No way. No. You see that completely empty table that looks weirdly empty under, uh, like in the bottom half of the screen? I'm going to fill that up with mugs. Okay, I'm gonna just wait until you do that, and then I probably won't even be here by the time you get it full. But I'll try to do an after shot before, and then boom. Yeah, we'll after. fill it up. Yeah, do that. And your judgmental girl is in the corner, and I can see her really well. Yep, yeah, she's she's staring into your soul. All she of your souls. She does not seem impressed with you, Chad. She's not. She's judging you, and she finds you lacking. <sighs> she doesn't like Bert. Well, I'm with her on that. <laughs> Uh, Abdo, warm welcome to you. I'm glad you're here. We're still doing all the um, getting ready to start the stream. Kind of just getting things going. About to start making the mugs on mugs on mugs. And my Meg says not done our Instagram stories for the day. So yeah, I, I forgot about them. She dropped the ball slacking. on that one. She's We're slacking. 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 Mm -hmm. That's her job. <clears throat> You are making mags? I make mugs. This is a big fat mug. The first couple will probably be pretty big. I think I put my big pieces right on the top. I like to kind of lump those together. Probably do four big ones and then the rest will be kind of like the regular size. And these will have faces on them like these back here behind me. All, pretty much all my stuff has faces on them. So warm welcome to you. Hey, uh, where are you from? Abdo? What part of the world do you live in? A curiosity. Got a big pile of new people coming in. Uh, I have a video that's getting a bunch of subscribers right now. I noticed that today. I woke up this morning. I was like, "What? What's going on here?" But I think that the um, the the view count is not matching up with the subscriber count. This mug is way too fat. I'm gonna make it thinner to break it. Is our internet uh, Tunisia? Oh, very cool. Have you ever talked to anybody from Tunisia? I was going to say Tennessee because TN is the abbreviation. Be like, oh, we're like real close I, to one another. When I saw it, I thought Tennessee as well. Um, but, but Tunisia, Tunisia, how do you say that? Tunisia. Tunisia? No. I don't know how to Google how to pronounce that. I just pronounced it correctly. Say it again. Tunisia. Tunisia? At least the American way to say it. I don't know, Chad. I think you're wrong. <sighs> Mugs with personality, indeed. One of my Steam friends is playing a game. I didn't realize I could see that on my uh, laptop. Oh, yeah, I can because I used it for my personal computer for a little while, but now it's my you know, what, computer again. Again. <coughs> Crashed Wait into minute, the table. Chad, here it is. <coughs> here, here, what is? You're right. Tunisia. 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 Yep. Yeah, I told you. I think I've always pronounced it incorrectly, but I have been now <clears throat> corrected. But anyways, yeah, there's a video that seems to be doing well. It's doing oddly well with subscribers, but not really getting that many views. It's getting like more subscribers than views, so I think that that's wrong. <laughs> I think there's something going on there. Uh, Put you like. I'm not sure. Sorry, it's probably lost in translation. I think that means Abdo. they liked it. They put a like on it. They they slightly oh, liked it. Oh, oh, thank you. Thanks for that. I appreciate that like. All of, all of the likes are indeed appreciated. This is a small piece of clay. Let's get a big piece of clay. I'm doing all the big ones first. <clears throat> oh, that's Tunisia cool. has a tradition in pottery. I did not know that. I'm not familiar with Tunisian pottery. But uh, you guys here, uh, watching with me now, and also here after the fact, I know you're here. I see you there. A warm welcome to you. I'm glad you're here. I am grateful that you are watching my video right now. Both myself and Bert. He says, yes, I'm glad you're here. Here, have a high five. I'm glad you're here. And my Meg says, glad you're here. Yeah, she is not know. glad that Bert is here. No, we're not. She's, she does not approve of Bert. Abdo says, yeah. Very cool. I'm, I am very glad you're here with me, Abdo. Warm welcome to you. Hey, question for the stream. First, would you rather 
Uh, would you rather teleport into awkward situations or time travel to boring historical moments? What constitutes a boring historical moment? That's kind of a weird question. Do you think that one's weird, Megs? Um, I think what it's saying is both of those would not be enjoyable. Neither no, one neither. would be. Yeah. But. I think I'd rather be I, awkward than bored. I but know. but time traveling, you know, even if it's a boring historical moment, you're you're time traveling back into history. So you'd see like the time period, I guess. I mean, how how would it even be boring? It seems like it would be interesting just by the nature of what it is. Yes? You're asking me? Yeah. Uh, or maybe you are like teleporting back in history but it's so aggravating because you like teleported to like watch a cow eat grass or something well that would be a boring moment in history yeah it would so you're teleporting back to the time of like <clears throat> the roman empire that would not be but boring. instead of teleporting you to a town somewhere you're teleported to like a herd of sheep and you just have to watch the sheep walk well, around I was gonna say, you can't I see any of the cool stuff like i would survive the roman empire very well I don't think I would be suited to that. You wouldn't? I don't think so. I've read some books that were based in that time period, and it just doesn't seem like... Well, we would be the serfs. Yeah. No, we'd be the artisans. We'd probably get a patron. We'd we, get a we patron. We would have patrons? We'd have patrons, yeah. Like the fancy we'd people. We'd be like maybe. those people that could kind of travel between circles of... Um, society because we are artists and we have <clears throat> patrons so we would kind of hope that we'd get like a nice <clears throat> rich patron who always got our work and then you know remember uh, that scene in 300 where Leonidas is like asking the uh, the other Greeks the Acadians I think is what the, who they are and he's like what's your pr profession and there's one guy that chimes up and he's like I'm a potter, sire. And then he compares the potter to the Spartans. And he's like, Spartans, what are your prof what is your profession? <laughs> and they're like, oh, oh. I feel like I'd be the guy that was be like, I'm a potter, sire. <laughs> and then Bert's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's a Spartan. And Devin Lee says, hi, Chad. Oh, wow. Hi, Devin. Welcome to you. Wait, wait, Devin. Is, are you the Devin that I know from back in the day on Twitch? If so, well, I'm welcome to you. If not, tell me tell me how I know you. If, or if I know you. I think I do because you call me Chad. Oh, woo. Oh, woo. Yes, he knows me. You have the muscles of a oh, Spartan, sorry. but the heart of a potter. But oh, that was so poetic. Did you hear what you I said? I did hear what you said. But yeah. also, in the movie, the potter was pretty jacked. Like, he was he was I, in good shape, too, I thought. I think everybody in 300, except for the, um, some of the weird ones, were some pretty the, jacked. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that was a jacked movie. Yeah. Yes, you know me, Twitch. Ah, oh, sweet. Glad you're here. Welcome to you. You got a high five. How have you been? It's been a little while since we chit chatted and jib jabbed. I love my new mug. Oh, did you order a new mug? I may not have noticed. When did when did you order the new mug? <clears throat> did you order one like just recently in the last couple of weeks or something? Yes, I remember sending you one. Megs Megs remembers sending it. Remember. She packs the orders now. Like, yeah, I know that person. Megs like I know you a couple weeks ago. Yeah, Sweet. Which I was kind? the one that would have seen it and packed it. Should I never Rarely does that. Yeah, I don't pack the orders anymore. My Megs does that. Are you want me to worry about waxing these big holes that have no faces? Um, you don't have to wax those, but wax the faces. Okay. I don't even want to be near these back here. Yeah, don't hurt. step on that stuff. I got no, some pottery no, no. in the floor. It's a booby trap back Fancy here. Fancy mug, no face. Oh, sweet. So you got one of the ones that have the ridges on it? Clint that says, I'm jealous. I'm jealous of the mug having, of Devin having the mug. Hey Devin, what you been up to? Are you doing any um, any streaming or any creative oh my endeavors? This cake stand is 
a kickstand. I can't. I'm a kickstand? I'm so afraid I'm going to kick it. It's in such a bad spot. Don't kick it. Tell Meg's not to kick the pottery. Ugh. You have so many things in here. And I'm apologizing in advance for the sniffling. My allergies are so bad today. I mean, it's like way worse than normal. I know I'm a sniffly yeah, kind of guy. Yeah, you get yourself up on And I clear my throat medicine. all... I know I need to start taking allergy medicine. You got to stop telling people about it and start doing something <clears> about it. I just don't like taking allergy medicine in well, every day. You know, sometimes you got to do things you don't want. Yeah. I can either suffer and let you guys suck snuffer my... Sniffles in my throat hey, clears. Wait, you can, or, buy some, you can buy some local honey at Bloomington. <clears throat> yeah, local honey would be nice. <sighs> Clantha says, "Yes, my mugs haven't personality." <sighs> we gotta get you, get you <gasps> a personality mug, Clantha. Just working. I've been a delivery driver since 2020. Reached my goal weight. Still crochet, just not as often. What kind of deliveries do you do? Oh, okay. If and you don't mind me asking. This is a mess over here. Okay. Um, if you want to put, go ahead and put them on the roller rack, you can do that. It's uh, out by the kiln. <coughs> Megs has got glazed stuff all over the tables. <coughs> Dominoes. Very cool. I, I remember, I think we had that conversation. We've talked since then. Remember that now. I don't remember. When was the last time we talked? Are you still? Do you still hang out in anybody's stream on Twitch? I pop in every now and then. I saw that Paul's not streaming now. He's taking a break. I popped into the Clint's not too long ago, <clears throat> but for the most part, I don't really do the Twitch thing. Eh, kind of. Man, I am making some short fat mugs today. <clears throat> Hard work. It is. Delivery driving is an honest living right there. Paul and I had fallen out. Didn't know he wasn't streaming. Yeah, I just saw it. He would pinged, pinged Discord. And I just happened to see it that day. I hadn't, hadn't typically been checking in with Paul. I haven't talked to him in a while. Uh, Greek actually started a uh, YouTube channel. He and Mia have moved to Canada, and they are uh, they're starting a YouTube channel. Uh, home setting, right? Uh, yeah, home home setting. I think it's Twenty Acre Farm NB is his channel. He's got like he, they haven't started putting videos on it yet, but they're planning on it. <clears throat> I didn't know you guys had a falling out. Did he make you angry? Or did you make Paul angry? <clears throat> Who was at fault? I bet it was Paul. You may go give him a wedgie? No, she wants Bert to. <laughs> what? No, I said, no, she wants Bert to. <laughs> you want Bert to go give him a wedgie? I need to check in with Paul and see what he's doing. I actually just saw a video that he did on Instagram while I was having lunch. He's doing some kind of like workshop or something. I don't know what the ins and outs of it are, but. I just just chatting. Just saying. Just just passing along the uh, the gossip that I know. <clears throat> yes, both uh, are honestly. He needed a break. For sure, he needed that break. For sure, we we both the a hole. Hey, that's an honest answer right there. I appreciate that one. It takes two to tango. I like that answer. Speaking of answering something, would you rather break wind in front of the queen, God rest her soul, or trip in front of the president? Let's say king. That's an ironic question. It's very perfect. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that really messes right up a little. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think our current president would judge us too much for tripping. Yeah. If he did, then he'd be a hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> That's just 
Oh man. That's just an ironic question. That is pretty funny. I'm gonna go with Crippen Prime Minister. <clears throat> That's a pretty great question because, you know, the Queen. Yeah, I guess it could be the Queen of a different country. Yeah, it doesn't have to be the Queen of England. Just a Queen, any Queen. Well, it, there there is a Queen right now, but she's like the Queen Consort or something I like have that. No idea how it's, that works. it's a different kind of title. I don't know how that works. I am not an expert on aristocracy or royalty. Yeah, I'm not either. But I can, with very much, with a lot of assurance, say I would pick Trip in front of the Clantha says, I missed this. Oh, you want the question again? Would you rather break the wind or break wind, pass gas, have flatulence, fart in front of the queen, <laughs> or trip in front of the president? I honestly would not care. Either one of those would be fine with me. I'm going to go with trip. I would, yeah. I'd trip in front of the president just to... Our current I mean, president. just... I don't think he would really even notice, though. Well, I mean, I don't even care. Because, I mean, he's a tripper sometimes. Like, he trips sometimes. Does it mean, like, tripping as in tripping and falling or tripping? As no, in, it means fall. You know, consuming... It's not... This is not... It means fall. <clears throat> Devin says, got to go for now. I'll catch you later. Hey, catch you later. Hey, thanks for popping in. Come uh, hang out with us uh, another day. <clears throat> oh, boy. I'm making fat boy mugs today. And I'm not surprised this clay is, like, really soft. And if I'm going to make nice and skinny tall mugs, I'm going to have to actually focus. Well, I have to focus on the mugs. Chad, yeah, don't be focused, Chad. I don't wanna. I wanna read the chat and the questions and stuff. We need to get you a pair of glasses, <clears throat> and then when you need to focus, it is the signal that you put on your glasses, and that's the signal that you need to focus, and you shan't be reading the chat for you. Got some blinders. Yeah. <clears throat> I never be in the same place with authorities. <laughs> that might be a good strategy. <clears throat> would you would you like to meet the president, Megs? You know, I feel like that <clears throat> would be best left unanswered. <laughs> oh, I saw a very say what you will about Trump, but I saw an advertisement a couple of days ago that I laughed out loud. It was so funny. He had a, a uh, eclipse and like real like, I don't know, you know, the, on eclipse day, yeah. it was like motivational words and it was like panning to the, the solar eclipse. And then instead of the moon coming over the sun, it was the silhouette of his head. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I was like. Surely he was guessing. Wow. I I was <laughs> wow. Say what you will about that guy. He's pretty funny. That was funny. I know it's probably his campaign or whatever, but that was pretty entertaining. Surely he meant for it to be funny. Yeah. I mean, he's got it. We live in a comedy right now. And a tragedy. A tragic comedy. What do you think, Megs? Hey, I have told you every time you get on this tangent not to bring politics into it. It's not political. It's you like... Oh, I don't really care. You say. Hey, at least we're not talking about furries. We talked about furries hey, yesterday. Again, you, you just now. <laughs> you, see, I, you brought it up. You brought it in. You, I told you. Okay. Um, it's fun, though. You. I'm getting in trouble. I'm sorry. I'm getting in trouble, guys. <clears throat> I won't meet the president of Andromeda Planet. the sales. Next question. One that one that applies to us more, I suppose. Okay. Right. Would you rather eat meals with a straw or drink liquids through your nose? We, eating a meal with a straw is called a smoothie. It is been there, done we, that. We actually had ice cream for lunch. So we could have put a little straw. milk in it and mixed it a little thinner and had it through a straw. I want a straw. This is gross. Put things in your nose. 
You drink liquid. Yeah, and it burns. Yeah, it burns. Like getting water yeah. in your nose. I won't say straw because I love a good smoothie or I don't really love a milkshake, but I could go to love them if all I'm trying to have is a straw. Indeed. And agreed. That's a, that's a better mug right there. It's less fat. But I am using my bad sponges. Just out of habit. Let's get my good sponge. Me use my good sponge. Would you rather teleport, but have to sing the anthem, or fly by flapping your arms like a bird? What? Well, I don't know what that even means. Would you rather teleport, but have to sing the anthem? What anthem? What anthem are you singing? National well, anthem? Oh, the national anthem. <clears throat> Teleport or fly is the question. Basically, teleport or fly. But you have to flap. I think flying would be cool. Well, I don't care if I have to flap. If I would fly, <clears throat> that'd be cool anyway. Hey, flapping is good exercise. Yeah. So, do you know this from experience? Jumping jacks. It's a thing that people do. Is that flapping jacks? I'm going to call them flapping jacks mm -hmm. from now on. It, I suppose it may be more appropriate. But you're jumping too. They should be jumping in flapping jacks. Right? What flapping no, that's too much of a mouthful. I like flapping jacks or jumping jacks. One or the other. <coughs> and I feel like I'm not jumping per se. I mean, I'm more like. <coughs> I don't mean, jumping. It's a different kind of jump. I don't know. Flapping jacks really is a little bit more accurate. <coughs> Even if it works, that's what I'm going to think of from now on. Would you rather. Everyone have a third arm on their chest or breathe underwater but with gills. I would totally underwater with gills. Yeah, you me too. You can hide your gills pretty easily, I would think. And if everybody had a third arm, you'd be used to that though. Well, you'd be used to it. So you could get more done. You could be more productive with a third arm. Well. I wonder what, how that would make the pottery if I had a third arm. Would you be one third more productive, or do you think it would not really be that much more help? Because it's only one arm, and you don't have two arms. So if I had two arms here, and then one over here. What would you do with your third arm if you had it? Uh, I could like scroll my phone. I could hold my phone here, and I could do the pottery here, and be scrolling. Scrolling the chat, or just scrolling for the leisure? <clears throat> Rackman says, actually, Abdo says, okay, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. Glad you're back. Listen to Chad thinking he can improve the design on a human. No, that was the would you rather question. We were just imagining. We're trying to think through all the scenarios. The question was, would you rather have a third arm on your, there, on your chest or breathe underwater but have gills? I'm just going to go with gills because they're less consistent. I really like being underwater, and that'd be pretty cool, just to be able to swim underwater. But... The, the third arm could increase productivity. No, see, I don't know that it would because it doesn't have a pair. It doesn't have, it sounds like you need four arms. Yeah, oh, you can get a lot done with just one extra arm. Well, I'm sure you could. But if I, I had one extra arm, I could be doing pottery. And then I could be like making Bert dance. And the stream would be immediately more entertaining. See the birds dancing up here, like do 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 do, and the pottery is still happening down there, like this, Max. I don't want to see that. I don't want to know anything. Stop. Tell me, but is I'm this? I'm telling you that's decreasing your quality. It's not. It's decreasing. I'm about to get a million subscribers and be the most popular channel on YouTube right now. No. No. Because I dance an action figure and make wobbly, <laughs> wobbly. It's a man dog. <laughs> no, he's an action figure. Rack says, I'd like breathing underwater. I don't think it would increase productivity either. I disagree. Uh, I think see, it would. Rack and I are on. I think we would be a we third more productive. Way. We know what's up. We would. Next question. Oh, wait. Rack said something. You didn't say you had the added brain capacity to handle that extra arm. Oh! You saying I don't have the brain capacity to handle a third arm? Because you I just made Bert dance, Chad. That was your function for your third. <laughs> arm. I was making Bert dance and making a mug at the same time. Let's see you do that. I can't. Make a mug. 
crash the floor. Days, That's what I'm saying. There. Hey, one of these days, here's what we'll do. I'll get over there and sit down, and you can give me, like, I, like pretend like you're my teacher, and this is what you would say to your student to, to teach them pottery. And I will follow your directions exactly, and we'll see what I come up with. So we'd use my brain and your arms? Basically. And if my brain is good enough, your arms would be able to do we'll it? We'll use your teaching skills. And we'll see how well I can follow your directions. Because I'm ne I never do the pottery. You may be a bad student. You may be a bad teacher. I'm not a bad. I'm a good teacher. You don't know that. You don't know. And, I'm, and I know I'm a good student because I am. Oh, of course. I've been, I, I was a student for many years. Yeah, you were great at taking tests, but how were your labs? Because this is more like a hands-on kind of thing. How was my labs? <laughs> Those weren't my forte. I was getting, science was not, this isn't science though. Hey, I made an A in all of my labs, but. It was a little challenging. Yeah. Oh, so we're sniffly today. Sniffly every day. I have a dark appointment next week. I'm going to talk to him about my allergies. And you're not going to cancel it. I'm not going to cancel this it. This is trying to cancel it. <sighs> How many doctor's appointments? Three? No, I just canceled Two? one. I think you canceled more than that. Is it just one? No, I just canceled the one. Yeah, because I was feeling better. And then my heartburn came back. And I was like, ah, okay. And then I gave it another week. And then I rescheduled it. Like so I have allergies and heartburn. Uh, let's see. Would you rather breathe underwater and burp bubbles or fly and lay eggs? Didn't we just basically have this question? No, we had one similar, but it wasn't the same. I'd rather fly and lay eggs. I would not want to lay an egg. I am just telling you right now. Would you rather burp bubbles? Yeah. That's, who wants to lay an egg? But you could have the ability to fly. The trade-off is... you breathe underwater if you burp, wait, that's safe. Yeah. I thought, you liked, I thought you liked water and you didn't like heights. Why are well, you I think fly? th that flying has more utility for us. For us? But if you lived by the ocean and always ate fish, then it would be helpful to breathe underwater so you could go get them. You're not going to catch a fish. You, if you're breathing underwater and you're sitting underwater all the time because you can breathe underwater, you'll probably get pretty good at catching fish. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you'd have a spear gun or something. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. I still think flying has more utility. Well, how fast are you flying? Are you flying like... That is a good question. Yeah. Because that's part of it. I would say both of them at like running speed. So, if that was the case... What do you mean both of them? Well, swimming. You're breathing underwater at running speed? No, 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 no. Travel underwater and travel in the air. Oh, okay. About right. the same speed. You have to have to make it fair. It's apples, heavy apples, apples. Yeah. Yeah. In that case, I don't know. I if you couldn't like fly with any speed, then... Like, I like the flying idea, but I really don't like the thought of laying eggs. That just really grosses me out. Oh, I hear the rain coming. <clears throat> Sunset says, I'm at my appointment, lol. Well, oh, I'm yeah, glad you tuned in. Well. How was that, uh, how was that drink you wanted to have? I thought, I did not like it. Is your, yeah, did you drink the drink yet? Is that, do you do it when you first get there? No, I think you, or drink it you, or in, drink the in the morning? I feel like I drank it at my house. <clears throat> Glucose drink is nothing. It tastes good. Oh, I didn't like it. I thought it tasted terrible. Does it taste like super duper sweet tea? Like super duper sweet Mountain Dew, I guess. Ooh, Mountain Dew. I ordered some Mountain Dew mix for our soda stream. I'm excited to try that. Diet or normal? It's diet. Diet Mountain Dew. The, the thing I like about all those is they use sucralose in all of their drinks. And I can have that. I can't have the aspartame, though. I drank it just waiting for an hour to get blood drawn. So you get to hang out for a bit. Oh, question, Sunset. What's the game that your boyfriend plays? He's probably hanging out with you. So curious. Because it's a shooter game, but he does raids on it. I couldn't have figured it out the other day when you were telling me about it. Uh, would you rather fart confetti or sneeze glitter? What is up with all of the injections from the body? 
This is supposed like, to be the quote unquote funny would you rather list. Yeah, we've had like burping bubbles and laying eggs, all this stuff coming out of your body. Yeah. There's a lot of that. Yeah. Bark. What is it? Bark confetti or sneeze glitter. Sneeze. We've had this one before. We've done this one before. I think that the uh, the flatulence would, it, there'd be a mess in the house. <laughs> like all the time. You could not do it about, inconspicuously. Think about the kids. Oh man. Man, last night, okay. I taught my son this terrible, terrible trick. It and he used it on me. I don't know why you did that. <laughs> you should pay for every... You deserve everything that comes to you from this. I do deserve it. It makes me so mad. Uh, okay. <laughs> Are you sure you want to say I laughed. I don't know if I should say I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's fine. So, anyways. <laughs> I was messing with my son one night. And uh, I, I had to rip one. And I ripped one. I was holding one of his animals in my hand, and hey, I like. You need to say this is a stuffed animal. It's a stuffed animal. <laughs> <laughs> Not like an actual a living animal, a, a but stuffed, a stuffed animal. It was a stuffed, a stuffed Snorlax. Okay, I did that, okay. I, and I, I it reached around my my rear, and I ripped one into the Snorlax, and I shoved it <laughs> into his face. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were kind of like roughhousing and stuff. And anyways, he was like, ah! And and he also thought it was like the funniest thing he'd ever seen. He's he was he's an eight year old. Anyways, he thought it was funny. You're a forty year old, and, you and <clears throat> I was laughing so hard at that too. Anyways, another night I did it. I, I uh, uh, Megs was there. We were doing his bedtime, and I. I farted in, into a different stuffed animal. I was just laying next to me. I was like, oh, here we go. And I did it. And I handed it to him. Uh-oh, phone's ringing. Uh, that was a random number. Um, into the stuffed animal. I handed it to him. And he took it and, took, and stuffed it into Megan's face. Into my mouth. Into <laughs> my had, mouth. She had her mouth open. She was like trying to tell him, no. And she was like, oh, oh. It was I can taste it. And he, <laughs> my son just lost. It. We're both just laughing so hard, and she's like on the verge of throwing up. It was real bad. No, I, I did gag. She was. <laughs> that was so gross. That was not romantic at all. Of you to do that. I didn't expect that he would, you know, do that to you. But anyways, well, that happened. <clears throat> so. At least there wouldn't be confetti all over the Snorlax. What rather have been confetti than that? <laughs> hey, oh. Duncan. How's it going, sir? Welcome to you. Got here just in time to learn a trick, a new trick that you can use. Don't use that trick. Never use that trick. <clears throat> and Rack said something about Snorlax, but then Megan took the uh, took the chat away from me. You, you know what? You deserve that. The Snorlax thing, that's like a battle tactic. Indeed. There you go. Yep. You use that. You can use that one, right? You got kids. <clears throat> Let's do that and hand it to somebody. Here, hold my animal. <laughs> That's disgusting. That is so gross. Glad <laughs> uh, says hi, Duncan. <sighs> I feel like I should make Cleanthus's name blue too. I know a lot of times you uh, have trouble with the translations and stuff, but maybe Cleanthus should also be a moderator. Everybody's a moderator. <clears throat> Duncan says I used to fart in a can when I was like eight years old. I would take the can and hand it to a cousin or brother and say, "Smell that can." <laughs> I like that. Smell that can. <laughs> they do that one time. My kids are girls, so they aren't into all that. Hey, you'd be surprised. I have a daughter as well. She finds that stuff pretty entertaining. <clears throat> Put the top back on it. Megan has a story about farting in a bottle. <laughs> I got in trouble. <laughs> oh, man. It's coming down out there. I am excited about this weekend. We're supposed to get some real nice weather. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> the load dolphin. <clears throat> we just gotta weather the rain today, and then after today, it's supposed to be real nice. I guess the rain wasn't loud enough to cover your comment. No. Megs has really good hearing. She knows. She knows what I'm saying. I have very bad hearing. I have um, my left ear. I can't hear whis people whispering with my left ear. So if we're in some some place where you're supposed to be quiet and someone's whispering on my left side, I basically have to like do this. And it, that's probably looks ridiculous, but I, I legit can't hear whispers very well at all. In my left ear. You go, people and East go get a hearing aid, I suppose. Oh, it's raining hard. I bet you guys can hear the rain pretty good. <clears throat> Too much loud music amplifier on that side? No, actually. Uh, what happened to it? I was shooting a pistol. I was doing target practice with my brother-in-law and I had a sinus infection at the time and I was just being a dope and didn't put my earplugs in. I had my earplugs with me, but I was just like, eh, oh, whatever. And I shot and I only shot two times. I was like, boom, boom. And I felt a pop and a lot of pain in my left ear. And that was it. Ever after that, I've had ringing in that ear and hearing loss. Uh, so, more of the story, if you're shooting guns, use your hearing protection. And my ears were abused earlier on in childhood, so I worked in a cabinet shop from when I was like, oh, 13 or so, 13 through 23, so 10 years working in a really loud cabinet shop. I used earplugs sometimes there, most of the time I didn't though. Um, and then I did play... Uh, like in a rock band in high school then we had loud amplifiers and when we get them with practice they'd be like roaring can't hear anything so i did abuse my ears rex says how long ago was that i was probably 24 25 so about 15 years ago um and <clears throat> i could probably go and get maybe a hearing aid or something yeah the gunshot thing was probably about 15 years ago let's say I was 25 15 years ago uh, unfortunate where you're hearing protection is the moral to that story but my left ear is like Bee! but I just tune it out Probably should go and do the hearing aid thing or something, but yeah, whatever. I don't notice it most of the time. Megs took my questions away. She took them away from me. It was punishment for the, um, the fart thing. Yeah, get me out of timeout, please. Rack says I'm really careful. I always use it when I go shooting, riding the mower. Yeah, I do wear my. Uh, most when I ride the mower now but I play really loud music inside of them <laughs> so, I was just like <laughs> whatever at this oh, point I've already, I've already... on this little shield thing in uh head? yes it's it's a lion it's a shield it's a lion face it's a shield why do you have two chats up uh one oh, of them is yesterday, yesterday. Can I close out oh yeah I never yeah close that one out Cool. And then scroll down on the one that you scrolled up. See a little blue arrow on the right side? Got it. Tinnitus. Indeed. That's what I got. I got me some of that. Maybe I'll talk to the doctor about that while I'm there. I can't see. That's my fault. Megan's doing all kinds of stuff. I'm, about to, I'm packing. I'm going to pack some orders. She's packing the orders. I'm just working, man. Where are you on your would you rather? Uh, roll down some. Here's one. Would you rather wear a onesie for a year or a clown wig for your life? Oh, onesie! Those are so <laughs> comfortable. That's basically just a wrong one. Wear That's a like onesie a for a year or a clown wig for your life? I would take the year of the onesie. I mean, that's 
I, I feel like that's not even a, a good comparison. Where is that question? Uh, onesie for a year or a clown wig for life? Definitely the onesie for a year. A onesie would be so handy for the studio. I, I mean, we, I guess we should, we could call them coveralls. I remember my great grandpa wore coveralls to work every single day. Back in the, uh, in the days of working at the cabinet shop. There's some utility in wearing a onesie. And you guys can quote me on that. It's like my most profound quote of all time. There is utility in wearing a onesie. Mm. Totally wear a onesie. You know, that'd be pretty handy for work. I'd just walk into the studio, put on my onesie, and then good to go. I got this apron here, but I still get a little dirty around the edges. So, I was talking about this earlier. <clears throat> apparently, I, I guess this is what's happened, but apparently I have a YouTube short that may be going viral. I, um, my subscriber count's just been like climbing, mysteriously climbing. I noticed this morning, I was like, huh. I went to bed, and I mean, it was just like kind of shooting up. I think, I know I've done over 100 today, and I'm typically averaging like 500 a month or so right now. Uh, well, it's going to be way higher than that after today. But I think what happened is like YouTube's counter is not working. And I have one video where there's a bunch of subscribers just mysteriously coming from. But it's basically getting the same amount of views as it is subscribers. So that makes no sense whatsoever. I'm just going to assume that more people are viewing it than YouTube is telling me. So that's kind of cool. Moving in a good direction with things. Oh, I wonder if Zebulon started streaming. <clears throat> he said he was going to today. I have not seen him go live. I'm just thinking about that. We're talking about <clears throat> comparing our stats, but looking at our stuff. Because he does pottery streams too. Or he does pottery long form videos. He's going to start streaming today. Yep, cool beans. Yeah, pretty cool. My dad and I always wore coveralls when doing farm work. The coveralls. I have never had a pair of coveralls. Maybe that'd be a good... I don't know. I feel like yeah, this apron's great because, I mean, it doesn't cover everything. Like, I got clay down, like, on below where the apron is, but um, it's easy to wash because that's like rinse it out in a bucket. <clears throat> I had a pair of insulated coveralls when I was a you know, child in the 80s. Leslie says, hey, yo, and Sun says, I missed some stuff. You guys just like chatted all at once. <laughs> it just suddenly was like, boop, had to leave. I'm back. Welcome back, Sunset. Glad you're back. I asked you the question, what, you, what game your boyfriend plays. I don't know if you answered that or not. I missed it if you did. The duck said I had a pair of insulated coveralls when I was a child in the 80s. You know, I kind of wish I had those for wintertime. It gets cold in here. This day, I make the same cup in the clay school. Oh, you're doing some pottery classes, Thomas? That's awesome. And Leslie says, hey, Sunset. And I say, hey, Leslie, how you doing? I'm up to you. <clears throat> I wore them when it was cold, between like seven to eight years old. Yeah, that sounds pretty awesome. It gets pretty cold down here at the studio. It's, uh, I have heat, but like it's, it's gas heat. And I am cheap, so I try not to run it all the time in the wintertime. <clears throat> Sunset says, yes. I sent in the Discord, but then you went like, oh, okay, oh, Daisy, okay. I know that game. Sweet. I never got into those, uh, the Battle Royale type games. Did anybody else play those? Leslie says, hey, 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 or hey, hey. She's probably saying it like that. Hey, hey. Or is it, hey, hey. How's the mugs coming along? Or is it, hey, hey. No, I wouldn't be like that. It's probably like, hey, hey. That was it. It was the last one, wasn't it? Sunset says, waiting to get my blood drawn. The waiting game. I think you're going to 
going to do just fine. How much longer do you have to wait? Maybe not too terribly much longer. I haven't played many of the newer shooter games. <laughs> Leslie says, I was saying it like, hey, hey! Uh, or Battle Royale. Yeah, I've not played any of the Battle Royale games. Um, never played, never even played Fortnite. Never tried it. Uh, let's see. Probably the last shooter that I played competitively online was Battlefield 3. I didn't play it very much, though. Battlefield Bad Company 2, I played it a lot. It's 145. I get blood drawn at 216. So 34 minutes remain. <clears throat> Well, I'm from Swiss Switzerland, 45-year-old man. I love to work with Clay. Well, that's awesome, man. It's very cool. I don't think I've talked to anybody from Switzerland yet. It's good to meet you. Bert, going to give you a high five. Welcome to you. Oh, I, almost, I think I'm going to... Okay, I didn't break his hat. <clears throat> Duncan says, last one for me was Bad Company 2. Also, that was a great game. Man, I loved Bad Company 2. Uh, I have many fond memories of playing with my bros on that game. Uh, we would always fight over who would pilot the, the chopper, the Black Hawk, and we'd all load up in the Black Hawk. There'd be like six of us, like we max out the Black Hawk. And I remember one incident, we had this one friend that could not fly them for anything. And <laughs> we ran up to that thing, we all piled in, and then we were all like, no! No, Alan can't fly. No, we're gonna die. And he took it. He just flipped over, and every single one of us just exploded in a fireball. Ten out of ten would crash the helicopter again. It's pretty funny to listen to like six grown men squealing like little girls all at the same time. <laughs> Good times. Uh, that's the, that was the best part of playing the shooter games. <clears throat> Did you eat before your appointment sunset? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Hours before. Yeah, you had to fast for a little while. I was going to ask you how to drink it. Yes, I drank it. It was yummy. Super sweet, sugary. I had ice cream for lunch, speaking of delicious things. But it was protein ice cream. It wasn't like, you know, ice cream, ice cream. <clears throat> Leslie says, most people hate it. Yeah, my mags did not like it at all. We always let our friend, who was our pilot from Battlefield 2, fly in, in Bad Company. Yeah, we had one friend that was really good at flying. I, was, I got pretty good at it, but I was not uh, near as good as this other guy. I mean, he was real good at like cramming it in like, really tight spaces. He'd drop it down right in front of people, and whoever was on the gun would, would rack them up. <clears throat> well, what are you doing with these mugs? These are going to be face mugs. Um... I'm going to do some of them, like this guy right here. Boop. I have a face on it. Ooh. Ooh. This one, I just turned it into a goblet. A chalice. And that's totally not sketchy at all. But this is the main thing I do. I make, I put faces on cups. I do a few other, other things. I do other forms, but 99% mugs. 90 to 95%. I do like big bowls. Um, I do some soup mugs. Stuff like that. Uh, here on YouTube, I throw all kinds of stuff because YouTube is kind of like my opportunity to make things that are not mugs. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? He could land the helis right on a small roof and beat battle, uh, Battlefield 2 like it was nothing. Yeah, that was fun. I loved doing that. I would just turn the game on and play solo just to fly the helicopter around and practice. I loved that so much. Hello, my friend. Hello, Bashir. Always you do the best. Nice work. Beautiful things. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You get a high five. And glad you're here today. And Thomas says, ha ha ha, cool cup. Hey, thank you so much. Much appreciated. Also, Thomas, I'm glad you're here today. Uh, all right, caught up. Megs is back. Meg said she was going to come into the stream today and show you guys what, what Megs looks like. I might just wait and stay disembodied. Oh no! 
Like, you didn't sound too disappointed. Didn't that see that one coming. <laughs> I figured you would, I figured you'd back out. But you're wearing your cute rain boots. Yes, but you can't see that. In this Leslie room. says, Megs. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning taking, forward I'm because, I'm, chat away because I'm my chat has been removed. Yeah. That's an important thing. Megs is shipping out the mugs on mugs on mugs. Had the post office run yet? Oh, yeah, I was going to tell you. The post office did run and they did not pull through. They oh. put our mail down at the road. So I need to call them? So they may not know because, you know, there's different people <sighs> around all the time. Our mail carrier is has quit or is quitting this week so they got like different people on our route they and they don't know, know our they don't know your route yeah. they don't know that they're supposed to swing in here every day and pick up the mugs even though you are listed as a full three but it's so many easy. different I'm sorry. carriers i can't read it hold on hold on i'm doing it let's see that's a bummer man i can there read that woo woo shipping mugs yeah, I know. I'm going to miss my uh, milk carrier. She's been shipping my mugs for a long time. And she's the one that got it set up to where we're what they call a dismount. So they actually pull through and just pick them up every day instead of me having to like uh, go to the website and go through a bunch of rigmarole every single day. Uh, Mashir says, really need a friend like you. You bring joy and happiness to our hearts with your smile. Hey, I appreciate that. Are you talking to me or Bert? Or Meg's. Can't see my smile. Can't see her. She's grinning right now, though. She's grinning like this. I am not grinning. I've, ne I've never grinned like that in my she, life. I, I'm serious. She's like... Also, no. Bert's like... It's not how And I we're grin. all like... Only you grin that way. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> that one gamer is here. I know that guy. I know that one gamer. I mean, not for real, but I know some gamers. And I know... I'd say that gamer right there. I know that one. Leslie says, oh, I was <laughs> reading it. She took it from me. <laughs> I can't see it. Dad, I get, oh, I she's deriving I satisfaction. Can... See, I deserve it because I was trolling her. I derive some I got to lean forward. I'm just, oh, I'm just checking man. to see if this person figured out their thing. I am doing You know you're not. You're looking at Facebook. I can see what you're doing on my screen. On my side, see, we got a desk. We got a screen on one side and a screen on the other. Got one for me and one for Megs, and they're cloned. Megs is looking at Facebook right now. She took my chat away so that she could mess around and look at Facebook. I'm answering questions from our... I'm going to miss customer. things. on. You're going to have to scroll chat. Chat, I'm going to come over there and chastise you in a minute. Megan is grinning ear to ear right now. Not She's like... It's like it makes you like this. I'm not even looking at you right now. I'm not gonna look. <laughs> I'm trying to see if this person saw me gonna... to order their mug. <laughs> uh, I'm not even gonna bring that one up again. Oh, uh, you guys missed out on the uh, the farting and stuffed animal conversation. You know what? They didn't miss out. They looked. Did out. you guys, Rack Duncan? Did you guys they see the drawing? Out by not and sunset did you guys see the drawing of my contract oh here's chat the drawing of my contraption on discord from my dream not before last i don't sunset think you were here nauseated, and i bet that's from the drink she didn't <clears throat> have because that thing did not sit well with me yeah Meg's didn't like that at all okay you have to fast and then drink it and it's just like on well, the empty stomach nice of that male male lady yep she was awesome but she says for both of you that one gamer says, I love your live streams from making clay pottery. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you. That means a lot. I mean, Bert's face is covered with clay. He's still grinning. <laughs> and Sunset says, I'm nauseous. Oh, I'm sorry, Sunset. Yeah, me too. It stinks to be nauseous. <clears throat> yes, I saw that. I said WTF. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we not talk about that. Did we not talk about the peak contraption? <laughs> oh man, that was the weirdest dream I've ever had. Megs had a good suggestion last night. She said that I should get stickers made of different things from the stream. Like, 
like water bottle decals. Like we could get a Burt sticker going, and then we could get like a pea contraption sticker going. <laughs> she suggested that one. That was not my idea, that was her idea. Like a mug sticker going, and we could do like different tiers of Burt Point rewards. <clears throat> Get a cookie. Probably shouldn't get a cookie. You've had enough sugar today. Just saying. So Meg's brought up my chat, but she did not bring back up my questions. Leslie says, I agree, we need Bert stickers. Yep. And then we could hide Bert everywhere in the world instead of just in my videos. By the way, if you guys are new here and all my shorts and stuff, Bert hide. This is Bert. He hides in them, and you can find him. Most, and it's like a game we play. And this game we play on in our Discord. You can leave a comment if you can describe it sufficiently well for me to understand that you understand where exactly he is. So, like yesterday's video, he was hiding, hanging upside down behind the shelf, like right behind me. And Clint, this was like Bert is hanging upside down. And I, I knew, yeah, I was like, oh, he's got it figured out. He knows where he's at, so he gets the Bert point. If you find him first, you get the Burt point. And when you get 25 Burt points, you win a mug. That's how we play in that game. Uh, Sunset says, I want an Italian sub. I love those. If I go to Subway, that's my favorite one. The Italian BMT. Uh, I asked my midwife if it's okay. She said yes. Just don't have it more than once a week. Yeah, the, uh, you know, the sandwich meat and stuff, probably not so great to have all the time. Francesco Rossetti, I love these live streams. Hey, I appreciate that. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to you. Uh, where are you from, Francesco? As it says, live your best life eating that food, eating that foot long sunset. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say, I got a funny story about Meg, my Megs in a foot long. But I'll, I'll wait till I'll wait till she comes back. She can tell that story. No, she says no. <laughs> what if I do this with this guy? Oh, I like Since that. You didn't put the tape yeah, on. that's perfect. Show the um, show the camera. What do you guys think about this guy? Where's your camera? He's right here. Can you guys? You can't see it. Oh, there he is. What do you guys think about there that? He's got an air plant in there. I'm gonna turn him. Look, this is like the this is like the oh, presentation. You, you guys are getting the Meg's hand reveal, so you can see her hands. <laughs> uh, let's see, she said the deli meat has a lot of something. That's why, Not, yeah, ni nitrate, nitrates. Yep. Uh, my favorite use of the air plants so far has been the shot glasses, the little shot glasses. I did a um, a community post with those. If you guys are interested in seeing that, that's on my channel. Those says that's so cute. Thomas says cool. Yeah, I like that. Uh, that was actually that was actually intended to be a salt cellar, so I would put a spoon, pair of spoon with it, and you could dip salt out of it. But I think it's great for an air plant as well. Good thing to use those for. I think you could actually plant a well. You'd have to put it in a certain place. You couldn't really put a succulent in those. You want it to get the life. <clears throat> This girl rejected certain foods already. What do you mean, Sunset? You rejected certain foods? My body rejected everything when I was pregnant. Oh, I see what you're saying. Meg's, Meg's body rejected onion. I don't know if you guys can hear her. She's in completely a different room now. <clears throat> Bashir says, all my respects to you and all the group you work with. I'm really keen on all the videos. Can't even resume. I'm oh, sorry, guys. YouTube completely crashed. I don't well, know what happened there. This is also what I was talking about with the oh, wine. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I like that. that that's cool. Too. Can you, you guys hear me now? My YouTube app crashed. I don't know what happened with that. I was saying, whoa. Um, Bashir said, all my respects to you and the group you work with. Uh, carry on. You will realize a lot. Hey, I really appreciate that. Was what I was in the middle of saying when YouTube crashed. Uh, Thomas says, I like creative style. I'm a creative fan. And it sounds like it since you're doing the doing the clay stuff too. I hope that your endeavors go well and uh, you do awesome things with it. Sunset says, I feel so out of it. The baby rejects the food. The baby is having its first sugar rush right now. 
by doing somersaults in there. Oop, we lost audio for a sec. Is it back now? Am I back now? My mic's, yeah, it says it's on. My app crashed. So it just like suddenly shut down the stream, closed YouTube. But that was way easier to start back up than it would be on like OBS or something. So that was kind of cool. Used to have little hiccups like that back when I was doing Twitch and I'd have to like wash my hands and um, get all cleaned up and then figure out what was going on and then restart the chat or restart the stream. I think we're all good now. I still don't have my questions though, my would you rather questions. Indeed. Question for the stream. When you were a kid, uh, let's see, how old? Hey, I have a question for you, Chad. Oh, Megs has a question. Do you know if they emptied the dumpster? I do not know if they emptied the dumpster. You know, I'm to trying check. to make Thursday my cleaning day. Like, yes. I'm trying to do a little bit of cleaning on Thursday because it gets so messy in <clears> here. And I don't like I have it. to drive my truck to work and empty it off at some point because it's got a bunch of stuff. There. Are you happy? Ah, yay, I'm happy. Leslie says, Twitch is very tedious. It can be compared to this, compared to just turning your phone on and starting just opening your mouth. Uh, would you rather your head double in size with every sneeze or shrink with every yawn? You know, my sister, when she sneezes once, she sneezes seven times. Wow, that'd be and bad so for that her. That would be exponential growth on her. It would be hilarious. So if you're a like, if you're a multiple <laughs> sneezer at once, you definitely mm. don't want to pick up. Is anybody out. else here a multiple sneezer? I'm just a, a one big sneeze and done. What is that? Yeah, but my sneezes are loud and violent. But yeah, I, I don't know. I think shrink with the yawn. Like if you got taller every time you sneeze, I'd probably pick that. <clears throat> I sneeze in 3S. So, like, what does that mean? I sneeze in 3S. Uh, reminds me of Beetlejuice when his head shrinks. Oh, yeah, Beetlejuice. Are you guys going to go see the new Beetlejuice when it comes out? I'm intrigued. I hope it's good. I hope they don't mess it up. Typically, sequels get messed up, though. No, no expectations going in. Sometimes, every now and then, they're good. They remind me of Alice in Wonderland. And Leslie says, yes, I am. I want to. Yeah, I want to see it. I really like that. That was, was probably one of my top movies when I was a kid. I still think it's a great movie. I enjoy Beetlejuice. I probably can't say it one more time. Have I said it two times or three times? I may have already said it to me. I think I already said it too many times. Oh, no. What a strange movie. When I was a kid, I thought the sandworms were really cool. <clears throat> uh, Monsieur says, if you never mind, would you tell me where your store is situated? Like the pottery thing, because we can offer them in all occasions. Uh, what you mean by that, Monsieur? Um, I do sell them, we do ship them. So I sell wholesale to stores and things like that. Um, if you're interested, um, you can contact us via email or on our Etsy shop. Probably start on the Etsy shop and send us a message and we can talk about stuff like that. But um, it would be pretty expensive uh, if you're out of the country as far as doing wholesale stuff. Leslie says, have you guys seen the trailer for the new Joker in the Harley Quinn movie? I have not. Who's doing the new Joker? Um, Joaquin Phoenix was a pretty great Joker. Uh, Sunset says, me and my boyfriend watched this show called From. Yeah, we were talking about that the other day. We're waiting for the next season, but it's not released, releasing yet. When's that coming out? I haven't started watching that. We were talking about it being sort of similar to Lost. Maybe a week ago or so. <clears throat> Phoenix and Lady Gaga. Oh, Lady Gaga's uh, Harley Quinn. Could be an interesting movie. Did you guys like the newest Batman with Robert Pattinson? I liked it. I thought it was cool. They don't have a date yet, and I'm pissed. 
the whole man. It's hard to wait for stuff. Like if you're in in something, uh, I hate getting to the last episode of a season and you gotta wait like two years before it comes out again. Um, I really enjoyed uh, the Amazon show Reacher. Uh, so I'm, I'm waiting on. Maybe they'll have a season three. What really stinks is when you're into a show and then it gets canceled. And then you can't watch it anymore because Disney buys it. <laughs> I really enjoyed uh, the Marvel uh, Punisher series on Netflix. And it had two seasons. And I was like, oh, I hope this has a third season because I'm really into this. Uh, it was John Bernthal, I think is his name. I think, he did, I think he did a great Punisher. <clears throat> No, as a vivid Batman girly, I was not a fan of the Batman movie. You were not a fan of the Batman movie? I thought it was pretty cool. It was a different take on Batman than we're used to seeing because he was more uh, more human. Uh, the Last of Us is a good show, too. I watched The Last of Us until like season three, or not season three, episode three or four, and they did like a filler episode, and I was like, no, I'm not going to waste my time on this team. I don't like that filler crap. If you're going to... You're going to do a show like this. Every episode needs to be quality. I noped out on that one. I enjoyed maybe the first... Maybe the first two or three. I don't know. Like, yeah. <clears throat> so it's, it's like, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It was the episode... Like, to me, it just said to me, like, this is a filler. This, this is not quality. It felt like not quality. Uh... Let's see. Man, that strike stuff was so long and po postponed everything. I haven't really been watching movies a whole lot lately, so I haven't noticed. Can be biased. And I'm not a fan of Robert. Uh, yeah. I mean, I thought he did pretty good in Batman, to be honest. I was, I had some trepidation. Uh, also, I had some trepidation about um, Ben Affleck doing Batman, but he did a pretty good job as old man Batman, I have to say. Um, I wish that the Justice League movies, like all of those movies, have been better. I don't know. I felt like they, they could have done better with those. Uh, I enjoyed, I think it was Man of Steel's one of the Superman. Uh, Batman vs. Superman was okay. I don't know. I felt like they all could have been a little bit better. Uh, alright, we're almost on well, Mug 13. Let's see, where are we? Uh, it got better throughout the show. Oh, so it got better like later in the season. <clears throat> I, I'm, see, I'm like one of those people. I don't know. If I get to a dud, I, I'm, I'm pretty likely to just quit the, quit the show because I don't watch a whole lot of TV to begin with and I'm like, oh, I'll just move on to Rainer Pastures. You offended me. Bashir says, well, thanks thanks for all. Have a nice day. Hey, Bashir, thank you so much for being here. I'm glad you joined us today. <clears throat> Leslie, I love the show Ghost. I definitely noticed how long it was taking to bring season three. Show Ghost. Which, which show Ghost? I'm not familiar with that one. <clears throat> this girl's kicking the hell out of me. <laughs> She's got a sugar rush. You know, out of context, people are going to be like, what is Sunset talking about? I love the movie Ghost. Like the movie Ghost with um, you know Patrick Swayze and the and the pottery scene. Is that what we're talking about? Bloodleaf says 2.41 k subs. I'm growing too fast. Made it to 2.4. Yeah. Bloodleaf, I think I have a video that's going viral right now, but it's not like showing up on the views. So I've got one video that's giving me more subs than is giving me views right now on my analytics, and that's what's going on. <clears throat> I'm, I'm pregnant, guys. Yeah, that's why the girl is kicking her, because the girl is in her belly. Uh, it's on Paramount. No, it's a show. And Thomas says, it's a cool movie. Uh, Ghost is a cool movie. And Leslie says, OMG. I don't, I don't, I'm probably lost the thread on that one. But Leaf says, that's awesome. I love that for you. Yeah, I think it's great. I like growing. It's cool. Uh, I wish that my, like, I wish I could see that what was actually going on, but whatever, I'll take it. Hey, man, I hadn't talked to you in a few days. You been doing okay? Are you working on the, um, the puppet video with the uh, music production? 
or you've got anything in the in the works right now guys if you didn't know bloodleaf is a musician he has fantastic music here on youtube you should definitely be checking him out listen to his stuff you may enjoy it you may really enjoy it freedom growers here mango habanero jerky try it i may have to do so i like mango i like habanero i like jerky I, I, I see this as a win 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 situation i did have some jerky yesterday and the day before i bought some um it was sweet baby rays uh it was like sweet heat i think it was good it was real good kathy chase is here man i wish i could throw half as fast as you do you just gotta do it over and over and over and over again and you'll get there 100 percent. also welcome to you are you a potter as well kathy i'm glad you're here <clears throat> yeah, I missed the last couple of streams because I was passed out after working on stuff. Oh, right, man, you've been burning the candle at both ends. That's good. Getting after it. Do it. As it says, I've, I've subscribed. I'll be supporting Bloodleaf's work. Oh, yeah. Glad to hear it. I really liked the... Uh, my favorite one so far has been the happy, happy song. Uh, that Yeah, that one's my favorite. I can't... I'm trying to remember the name. I think it's is it just Happy Bloodleaf. I really like that one. Uh, Bloodleaf, if you want to link it, that song in the chat, feel free to because you can send links like that. Freedom Grow says epic flavor combo. They got it grass fed at, at Costco. Ooh, I can I have access to Costco here. I could get me some of that. that sounds pretty alright. Freedom Grower, how you doing today? What you been getting into besides eating jerky? Doing anything cool? Um, Freedom Grower, do you have a YouTube channel? I meant to ask you that the other day. Your your name and like picture and stuff ha has the look of potentially a YouTube channel. Uh, my daughter likes the sweet baby raised jerky too, but not the heat. Yeah, it's good jerky. It's not like terribly like crazy chewy. It won't like ruin your teeth. But it's got a good flavor. My favorite jerky I ever had, my dad made some. When I, when I was a kid, we had a food dehydrator. My dad would make it every now and then. It was real good. <clears throat> Leslie says, burning the candle at both ends. I like that reference. Yeah, I do too. I usually say I'm burning the candle at both ends, but then I go a step further and I get out the blowtorch. And I hit it in the middle with the blowtorch. That's how I do it. It's like when I'm working 80-hour weeks. That's me. Both, yeah, I like I burn both ends and blowtorch the middle. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the candles just like, and then I pass out at night. <laughs> <laughs> Megs liked my reference too. <clears throat> Kathy says, been throwing off and on since high school. Fifty years. Fifty years. That's that's a lot of pottery right there. Veteran. Just getting back into it more steady. That's good. That's good. Uh, do you do anything here on YouTube? You do any videos or anything? Thomas says, I have not a YouTube channel. Maybe I can send pics from the clay I build in clay school. Hey, Thomas, I have a Discord channel. Uh, yeah, or Discord chat. You can, get in my channel, in the links, there is a link to the Discord. And you can post pictures and stuff on there. Leslie's laughing. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, Megs was sassing me. Bill's here. Hi to duty, uh, Tutti Fruity, Mr. Bill. Warm welcome to you. Mr. Bill does creative stuff. He plays guitar. And talking about doing some live streaming on YouTube. He does. He already does some on uh, Twitch. The jerky at Bucky's is really good. I've not had that one. Man, my phone had a stroke. It's also, this happy is the song I think you were talking about. Yes, this happy. That's right. Yeah, my brain. I have it filed in there some somewhere, but I can't access it. Blow I'm blowtorching right now. I blowtorched my candle and it it died. My brain died. <laughs> oh, man. I am feeling it a bit today. I've got some allergies going on. And my head is hurting a bit. But that's okay. Bill says, not so much right now. My right shoulder's messed up. I can't play. 
Oh yeah, I was asking you yesterday, did, did you say what you did to your shoulder? Uh, no, not yet. Not ready for that yet. Uh, what kind of stuff do you like to make, Kathy? What's kind of like your, your jam? I know most potters have a jam. My jam is putting faces on things. I grabbed this guy. I showed that guy off earlier. Um, there's a chicken mug. I put faces on the cups. There's a little chicken friend. Cheering you on, Bill. <clears throat> I can't remember song artist names for the life of me, let alone my own song names. <laughs> well, I'm bad with names of any kind. I'm real good at remembering lyrics to songs, strangely. So, like, I had this Fly to the Concord song stuck in my head earlier. And I mean, I'm like going through it all the way. And Megs is like, wow. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Leslie, we'll have none of that. And Kathy says he's special. He is, Bill is special. I, I'm assuming you're talking about Bill. Are you talking about Bert or Bill? Either way, Bert's giving you a high five. Chicken mugs are top tier. How can you not love that face? Agreed. Leslie's laughing with Bill. I caught up. Yes! That means it's question time. Would you rather... Have your grandma's name or her hairstyle for life. <laughs> oh man. Um, I'd rather have my grandmother on my mom's side's hairstyle than my grandmother on my dad's style. My grandmother on my on my dad's side got had a perm like a very short cropped curly perm i don't think it looked very good with that <clears throat> my friends tell me i'm a human shazam what does that mean i that's a movie reference to shazam shazam but i haven't i haven't seen shazam kathy says i like to make planters different shapes very cool like larger planters or little planners, or really well, I guess it just means all kinds of planners. I like making planners too. Um, I just got done making a nice batch of little small succulent planters and some medium size, they're kind of like large cereal bowl planters. I've got those, I've got a show that coming up next weekend, and I my planters do pretty well there. And <laughs> Leslie says. I think I'd rather just be deceased. <laughs> hey, at least you are a woman. I think for you ladies here in the chat, we'd have to swap it to grandfather. And for you guys, we have to swap it to grandma. Jason says, hey, nice pottery. Hey, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Much appreciated. Hey, I'm glad you're here. I haven't gotten real big yet. Medium size. Medium size planters. I don't make many big planters at all um, for a couple of different reasons. But I, I think, I feel like I have to charge too much for my big pieces to make them worth it. Jason says, where are you from? I'm from Alabama in the United States. Where are you from, Jason? Uh, my daughter is really into plants. Uh, what kind of plants does she like? growing my megs is into plants i'm talking about you my megs oh in that case i'll take my grandfather's name because he was bald like mr clean <laughs> nice and your name will be oh what's a good grandpa name you name it she has it so she's got all kinds of stuff very cool. Uh, Meg's grows uh, the main thing we have in the house. We have all kinds of stuff. Uh, what are those plants called, Meg's? Montserrat plants. They're like elephant ear. Huh? Swiss cheese plant. They're very cool. She's been like propagating them. And I bought her one for Mother's Day 
a couple of years ago and she split that one plant like I don't know how many times we got a bunch of them now and we've given a bunch of them away too or she's given a bunch of them away they're very cool and she's got a big elephant ear orchids um, and some that I have no idea what they are Jason says nice I'm from the capital of Greece which is called Athens and I live in the suburb where pottery art flourished some years ago it's well known for the pottery hey, very cool Jason we have a client that's hanging out also from Greece and I think client is probably still here you guys could speak in native tongue Kat says she does that too my grandfather's name was unique didn't hear many have his name I have one grandfather that had a very unique name and then one that has a um, very common name hi I'm Greek <laughs> welcome to you I can't read your name uh, but you have the picture of a kitty so I shall call you kitty welcome hey kitty. all of these people from Greece seeing the industry is really making me reconsider our thought process of possibly going to Greece for our 20th wedding anniversary Meg's here yeah we got <laughs> Greece in the house uh, Greece likes to hang out with the pottery Greek my, my Greek friends must like the pottery Chad, it must be a sign that we should go to Greece for our 20th anniversary trip you know it's the 300 thing I was talking about earlier I'm a potter mm -hmm. Sia I can't see the chat I'm sorry <laughs> it's so tiny Meg's took, took over the computer again what if I can't what if I do this oh that's perfect uh, let's see Jason says you're welcome here anytime. Hey, thanks for that. Appreciate that. Hey, uh, y'all keep working on Kitty this. says my name in England is Chrissa. Hey, oh, well, Chrissa, welcome to you. I will try to remember that. Chrissa. I'm, I'm just going to toss this out there. Putting it into my memory. Chad Do is, it, Megs. Chad is not a traveler. I'm not. And I'm, a I'm working brother. on it. So, y'all can make it a little project to talk to me to go to Greece. I would not mind. Help me convince uh, him. If somebody chase my chat is cut off a bit. I would oh. not want my grand grandpa on my. I would. Uh, oh, I mom's side haircut. He was bald. Wait, <laughs> Kathy there we said go. that. How's that? <clears throat> now I can see it. Ah. Kathy said that. Should have remembered that, but I've been just calling to Kathy. It's like I try. To, I read fast, I suppose, and cut. Like my brain cuts things off. Like I see rack, and I started to see the blue in the chat shorten things let's see and oh what was that Chrissa says thumbs up I'm gonna remember your name now I'm trying I'm doing my best help me remember Chrissa Megs do it Chrissa. do it Leslie says I don't remember what what we're doing go to Greece probably oh, what I miss I got a phone call um there's some things and stuff you know the usual Chad, you know what you guys you know what this is what Chad, when I'm, when Chad goes like to a meeting or he has a phone call, I'm like, well, what they say, what they, like, I, he, he will say just some stuff. I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Don't you guys love how Meg, as soon as she comes back in here, she immediately starts busting my chops. You need your chops busted, Chad. I'm getting my chops busted, guys. You need that. It's good for you. Keep Jason you. says, I have a mug that shows the solar system on it whenever I pour something hot in it and disappears and there's nothing in it or oh. it becomes cold. It's amazing. That does sound cool. Health Painter says, bonjour. Uh, hey, almost you get to practice your French. <clears throat> see, they, see, they like when your chops are busted, Chad. Yeah, my chops get busted. Been trying to talk Megs into coming into the chat so you guys can see what she looks like. But you need to. Actually, no, it's gonna remain a mystery. There's no one else in the room with me. It's Bert that's talking. It's this guy right here. Bert's talking. Leslie says that's literally how men are, though. Yep. They will be like, "Oh yeah, it was nothing on an hour call." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's true. The differences between men and women, right there. Exhibit A. Women remember the no, details I think of especially. A be you point to yourself. Exhibit A. Point. Because I'm an excellent specimen of a man. <laughs> Is that why? Press play says, I have a cup like that too, Jason. 
I don't know why I'm trying to put a second bat. I'm about to have to get some clay. You guys going to get to see me chop up clay? What time is it? You want me to bring you some clay? No, I got some. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't see the chat. There you go. Bloodleaf says, this is what peak male performance looks like. Indeed. <laughs> indeed, indeed. <laughs> well played. You're seeing it well right played. here. Uh, I would insert a, a joke about what my pottery looks like every time I go to center something, but I'm not going to go there. I knew Megs would have something to say about that. Chad. Would you rather oh, be a reverse that. centaur or, uh, or a reverse that. mermaid slash merman? So that means you would have a, a horse face or a fish face. Mmm. It's tough. Neither one of those is stuff. ideal. There I can't are. see stuff. What, did, what says, was the ask? What was the question? Would you rather be a reverse mermaid or a reverse centaur? What's a reverse mermaid? A fish with legs? <clears throat> no, 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 no. You would have your head would be a fish or your well, head would be a horse yeah a reverse or, mermaid would be a fish on the top half or a centaur is a centaur a bull a centaur yeah i thought that was a horse with a person's head not a centaur yeah a reverse centaur would be so hard to move around uh let's see i'm getting behind do you sell these cups on amazon uh we sell them on etsy so there's a link to our Etsy shop on uh, on my channel page. Go there, or you can go to ugchug.com. You want me to put the link right here? Or oh, one of the or Bloodleaf or Rack or uh, Sunset. Could click and or could do the link. Hey, I'm sitting at the computer. You want me to do it? Oh yeah, you could just put the link in the chat, Megs. I know that's what I was offering. Yeah, do that. That makes way more sense. I know. Hold on. <laughs> I'm dense sometimes. I did not. No, that was that's false. I'm dense all the time. I was just. I am. That's the, that's what I am. Ah, did it. Oh, you done done it. That's our shop. But don't clink. Yeah, yeah. Just save it for later, though. Don't leave the stream. You can uh, imagine having a giant horse head and a torso. Oh. On tiny little people legs. Yeah, that would not be ideal. It'd be better to have the fish head. You're gonna be ugly either way. So you might as well pick the one that's like more convenient, I suppose. Jason says, nice. I'm gonna buy one either for me or for a gift. Hey, I appreciate that. I hate that it's so expensive to ship overseas. That's the only drawback to shipping to Europe. Uh, I wish I could make it lots cheaper. Yeah, yeah. International shipping is very... International shipping is no good. We do it. We do ship internationally. But, it is not cheap. Let's just say exactly, I'm going to be a horse. Uh, Jace says, thank you. I appreciate it a lot. And Ludley says, beat me to it, Megs. She did. I'm a slipping. Bloodly. Rex says, good job, Max. Ha. Yeah, she is she is the moderator now. Uh, Customs has to check things for contraband. Yeah, they see those googly eyes and they're like, oh, what is this? Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if we can let this through. We're going to have to, um, mm, I don't know. Maybe a little bit of fee for googly eyes. What's that? What's that fee called? You have to go and pay it. What are you talking about? Yeah, you know, sometimes it depends on the country. What is that? When it gets stuck in customs. I don't know. Well, no, there's extra tariffs or something, but there's another word for it. I'm going blank. <clears throat> drawing a blank here. You drawing a blank? Yeah, my head is very blank today, you guys. I have a pretty good headache going on. It's 100% a, a uh, Oh, great man's here. 
Hey, Greek man, Pangeotis, welcome to you. We we have all of the Greek friends with us today. I think at one point we've, we've had three Greek friends. We may have four Greek friends now. Value added tax. No, I can't remember what the word is. It's another word. It'll come to me at like 8 o'clock tonight when I'm going to bed. I'll be like, oh, that. <clears throat> Jason says, what are your names? Pangeotis and Cleanthus and another Greek friend. I couldn't remember. Uh, it's, oh, I was supposed to remember it. What was that word I told you to remember, Chrissa. Meg? Huh? Chrissa. Chrissa. Yes. Aha. See, my Megs has got me. People there just really appreciate pottery. Yeah. See, I told you I was a good student. Yeah. Megs, Megs is really great at remembering things. Thanks. I guess that's a compliment. <laughs> there was this, uh, we were talking about the uh, guy the other day. Uh, we went to an art show, and they, they were playing this band, uh, and, but they did the same set over and over and over again. I don't remember. The guy's name was like Dennis or something. Anyways, at the very end of the whole, well, how many days was that, Max? Like five like days? Five days or something. Listening to the same set over and over. He was like messing with. I think he was hitting on. Or hitting on okay. this, this other vendor lady. And he, was, he called out his phone number. And, and he, he said it out loud. And Meg was like, oh, I have Dennis's phone number now. And uh, we got the bright idea of crank calling him on I the think way. We texted him. Oh, yeah, we, we texted right. him. We were that's right. Him while he was standing in front of us. <laughs> that's right, that's right. That's what we did. And it was very immature. It's like, hello. We were just, we hello, were, Dennis. We were just done at that we point. See we see you. <laughs> I forgot about that. It was immature. And we were young and yep. immature. But it was also funny. Uh, Jason it. says, haha, I mean, your name's. I'm Chad, and that's Meg's. No, Chad, you know Chad what? is My called duty. duty. Yeah, a duty. But I don't yes. think that's it. There's another one. No, they're right. It is duty. There's another word. I think you're thinking of duty. That's the one I was thinking of. No, there's Rack, another word. Rack knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. And also, Chad, you know, people are going to think my literal name is Megs with an S. It is Megs. No, it's not. It's Megs. My Megs. No, no, no. Uh, and this said something. In Greek, I can't read it. Uh, but it's my name. And, oh, he's saying he's saying my name. That's what it is. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Mega Chad, the memes make themselves with this setup. <laughs> Indeed. Hey, I never actually thought about that. That's kind of. On funny. Switch, we went by Ugg Chugs and the Meg because the Meg had just come out. Yeah, yeah. We called her the Meg. Yeah. You guys should have seen her. Oh my goodness. Twirl her braids. She was so good at that I back in the day on that's Twitch. That's actually in you, are you, the is your, are, are, montage you, that um, that's in the montage that Raph made. I want to say that's in there. <clears throat> is uh, and Andreas, Andreas in Canada. Yeah, Andreas. I haven't seen him today, but yes, that's um, Andreas that lives in Canada. My actual name is Megan. Megan. But yeah. Chad calls. But but. People do call me Meg. I but am. Chad calls me Megs. He's the only one. Pretty much the only one that calls her Megs. My Megs. That's my Megs. Yep. Did you have pigtails today, Megs? I do, actually. You want to come twirl them? No. I don't even <laughs> think I can do that anymore. It's pretty impressive. We need some heavy metal music, though. You know, when we were on Twitch and I did that, it took quite <clears> a while for me to get them going. Ludley thought it was short for Megatron. <laughs> we'll let She that. does answer to that. I will answer to. You know what? I'm a big Transformers and fan. I love that cartoon. Megasaurus Rex. No. What? No. There for a while in college you went by Mayugs. No, I didn't. You called me that, but I, didn't, I wouldn't say I went by that. I did call that. My Mayugs. But Andreas don't speak Greek. Yeah, he his dad did, but he did not learn Greek. He's actually from I think he was born in England of Greek lineage. His dad, his father's Greek. By, By your, your command. command. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh man. Man, I loved the Transformers cartoon yeah. when I was younger. Now that Duncan so is good. Duncan is the perfect age for Transformers. Yes. Transformers were awesome. Yeah. You probably Duncan, you probably missed the Ninja Turtles, didn't you? But you've got He Man. Oh, I love you've the got, Ninja Turtles. You got uh, Ghostbusters and you got uh, Transformers. Thundercats. If her Instagram handle isn't Meg's Mugs, she's missing an opportunity. <laughs> Meg's Instagram handle is Ugchugs. Yeah, so I, don't, I don't have my own Instagram. I, on Instagram, the only thing I do, well, Meg's records me with the camera and teases me and yes, puts it in our stories. That's my favorite thing to do. So she handles that. And then I do one uh, reel every day. I put a reel up every day and um, I handle YouTube. And Twitter, when I whenever I think about it, our Twitter's tiny though. <clears throat> Leslie says, "He man." I'm about uh, to have to go. He man's great. You gotta go. Oh yeah, you gotta get the groceries. Well, Makes... I have to get some Rubbermaids to pack things up for the show, and I have to. We need food. <laughs> Why is the action figure pointing at us? He was just getting ready for a high five. <gasps> Something fell off him. Oh, it's just some play. Okay. You the know hats. what? The action figure. Mm. And also, Greek man, the action figure has a name, and his name is Bert. Uh, <laughs> well, I know. Yeah, oh, Bill is. I loved, Bill I is of that era too. And. <clears throat> Yeah, that was one of my favorite cartoons. Stayed up late to watch that show. Which which show are you talking about, Leslie? I just named off a bunch of them. I think she said He Man. He Man? Yeah, He Man was great. Uh, still like TMNT, even though I was over 10 when it came out. Ninja Turtles was great, and the movies were great. I never really watched the movies, but I did. 1987 remember. is when the cartoon started. I don't know why. I'm, man, I'm so distracted today. Distracted plus headache equals. Acting like a moron. <laughs> I've tried to put multiple bats on top of bats during this stream. Bats on bats on bats. Bats on bats on bats. That okay. probably wouldn't end well for me. It would just be like sliding around. And look at me. I got my wire tool here. You want me to pull up your little your questions? Yeah. Indeed. What's Bert's last name? Um, Selick. Bert Selleck. Chad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that wasn't very creative. Well, why? It's, it's it's perfectly creative. Why would it? Why is it not creative? It's a combination of the most epic mustaches in Hollywood. Oh wait, his name's not Bert Selleck. Oh, that's Tom. Se oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, see, yeah. so I get it now. now give me props. Okay, okay, I will concede. I got my people confused, and I thought they were one person. <laughs> I got a pretty st funny story about Burt Reynolds licking a lollipop. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that was terrible. Uh. Uh, Bloodleaf says, "I love almost all old cartoons," and Leslie says, "Yep, he man, except for the clearly racist." Driven cartoons, I can do without those. Uh, racist driven cartoons, like way old school. Uh, Team and Team movies were so good. Indeed, agreed. Greek man says, I'm laughing. I think that's Greek. Wait, hold up. No, that's not Greek man. I can't see the icons. We scoop the. Okay, um, then I have to go. Yeah, or make put chat, just make chat oh, be on I top. See. Hold on. There you go. Okay, now that's Cleanth that's saying that. Bart, Bart Clayman. Okay. Uh, Kath says, do you make your own clay? No, I order this clay. This is, um, High Water Aurora is what I use. It's cone 10 stoneware. Hey, Megs, be careful. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> that was very quick for a last name. Oh, I already had that planned out. He's been, uh, Burt Selleck for always. <clears throat> Burt Reynolds and Tom Selleck combined is wild. Yeah, but they have the exact same mustache, and so does Bert. Can you guys even see his mustache? You can't see his mustache right now. Here, let's take off. Let's let's take off his bonnet. I'll wash his face for you guys so you can see him. You can see what I'm talking about at least. 
Welcome to my live stream. In this stream, I wash dolls. <laughs> Every now and then, I just have to take a pause and, and think about and really consider what I'm doing in this very moment. What a strange life. You guys ever have moments like that? Alright, now you can see his mustache. See? He has a fantastic mustache. <clears throat> uh, the power in that mustache. It's over 9,000. Oh, that's meme level like... That was a long time ago when that, when that meme was popular. How long ago was that? That was like early 2004 or something, 2005. That's classic. Old school. I like the big blue bowl in the background. Are you going to move it closer so I can see it? You said that yesterday. Nice DBZ reference. I remember the, um, the one with Oprah Winfrey spliced into it. Do you guys remember that YouTube video? <laughs> Where she says over 9,000 in her show. And she's, she's talking about things. He's got a dirty malt. Be cleaner than Bert. There he is. I got it nice and dirty now. I need to clean that one up. I'll take that one to the show and maybe sell it. Need to sell it. All right, so last question was the grandma question. Would you rather have legs as long as fingers or vice versa? That'd be some short legs. You ready? Neither one of those things would be ideal. <clears throat> uh, what's your favorite cartoon? My favorite cartoon. That's a good question. But first, I guess I'd rather have the use of my hands, so finger legs. So my legs would be like real short. <clears throat> Say something smart. Hey you, genius farmer, genius. I don't know that. What's that reference? Uh, I love DBZ Abridged, but I haven't watched the real show in over ten years. I actually have not watched DBZ. Duncan has. Duncan is a DBZ guy. I think uh, Rack is too. Rack watched it in college a lot. Uh, but I never had the occasion to watch it. But as far as cartoons. Favorite cartoon. Uh, as a kid, like if I was picking my favorite one of all time, the one that I watched, the oh man, that was tough. Probably X-Men animated series. It used to come in, come on uh, Saturday morning cartoons. That one, and possibly Batman the animated series. That one was really good too. It came on on Saturdays. I think I'm going to go with Batman. Looking back as an adult, the creative style of the Batman animated series was probably the best of them. What do you guys think? Favorite cartoon? I really like Tom and Jerry too, though. <clears throat> Google user says, were you a fan of The Walking Dead? I enjoyed The Walking Dead. I watched it up through maybe season three or season four, and then I was waiting for the next season, and I just haven't picked it back up yet. I plan to, um, but I have a lot of... Uh, I have a lot of catching up to do, so I'm going to just rewatch the whole thing. I probably should get on that before Netflix takes it away. It's on Netflix right now. Also, hi to you. Welcome to you. A Google user. It's a nice anonymous name. I should come up with a different name for you. Uh, oh, buddy, Batman Beyond is my favorite Batman slash favorite animated superhero series. I haven't seen Batman Beyond. The animated series was legit. And Leslie says Batman is elite. Leslie is a Batman fan. We were talking about Batman earlier in the stream. About, uh, she didn't like Robert Pattinson's Batman, but I like Robert Pattinson's Batman. Uh, is Mickey Mouse a cartoon? Indeed, Mickey Mouse is a cartoon. <clears throat> He's like technically a clone of Batman, but is also technically his son. It's so cool. Well, multiple users on this device. 
Now well, that happens in my house too, so I get it. 100%. Oh man, running out of table space. What time is it? 1.44. I'm probably going to wind the stream down here in about three mugs. So we're going to get the short posted as soon as I leave the stream and Bert is hiding. In fact, I forgot where Bert was hiding in the, the upcoming short. And I spent like 10 minutes looking for Bert. He's there. But I had to look for him myself. So I got to taste some my own medicine with the game. He's there. He really is not that hard to find. You guys will probably have an easier time than I had. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, but if you guys don't know, uh, Bert hides in all my videos. And if you're the first one to find him, you get a Bert point. Oh, I need to clean this off first. Uh, I'm going to name this stream my brain dead stream because I'm seriously like just like ugh, today uh, uh, I feel like I might get a Tom and Jerry tattoo Leslie do you have other tattoos I've wanted to get a tattoo off and on here and there but I, I never can settle on one I want to get it's too much pressure kind of wanted to get a cool dragon but then I can talk myself out of it I definitely do want to get my wedding band tattooed on my finger though and Bloodleaf says, do it, Leslie. Anybody else have tattoos? Question for the stream. Do you have a tattoo? Also, what is it? What are your tattoos? <sighs> Greekman says, I like Minnie Mouse. I'm not a huge Mickey Mouse guy. Uh, I wasn't even a huge Mickey Mouse fan as a kid. I like Disney movies, but not huge on Mickey Mouse. My favorite cartoon of the 90s was either X-Men or Batman. Animated series was really good. Yeah. Duncan, you like my brother from another mother, man. We would have watched the same stuff. Uh, uh, in the 80s, uh, hard for me to choose, but overall, I may have to go with G.I. Joe. That's Bert. G.I. Joe, man. The G.I. Joe toys were very cool. Uh, I just might, in honor of my grandfather. Hmm. But that'd be very cool. Kathy says, anything with Pluto in it. Do you like big fan of Pluto? Uh, and uh, Goofy, the Goofy cartoons. Dude, I have over 10. Leslie, you're tatted up. Bloodleaf says I have one tattoo. It's a ring tattoo. So you got your wedding band tattooed on, Bloodleaf? That's cool. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, I have a Pluto tattoo on my wrist. Very cool. We got some, we got some tatted up chat friends today. That's cute. The wedding band would be special for you and Meg's 20th. Indeed. I need to do that. She wears her wedding band, but I don't wear mine because I have like almost lost it so many times having it here at work and I'll take it off and I'll leave it somewhere or get clay all over it and then when it has clay all over it, it just blends in with everything. I mean, there's clay all over everything. Like sometimes I'll set down a, my, if I'm using a normal coffee cup, I more often than not we use a metal cup just so that it contrasts with the pottery because if I use a regular cup and I lay it, set it down on a shelf, my coffee's gone. <laughs> like, it blends in with everything. It's a Potter, Potter problem. Google user says, G.I. Joe. Definitely. G.I. Joe is awesome. Dude, I'm such a nerd. When he said Pluto, I immediately thought of a planet. It's not the planet. It's not a planet anymore. Sorry, Bloodleaf. You're old school. You have dated information. It is a dwarf planet. My good sir. Oh, there we go. Or, well... Dwarf celestial being, whatever. <laughs> Leslie says I have a neck tat, finger, wrist, ankle, my whole upper left arm, collarbone. What's your next one going to be? I've designed a few of them on myself or on other people. Might be a tattoo artist at some point. Go for it. You should do that. Are you? Do you do drawing and stuff now? Is that step one? Do sweet drawings. I went to art school with the guy that became a tattoo artist. And he was a legit, very good at drawing and painting. Very impressive. Uh, he probably, I bet he makes a bunch of money now. If he didn't like get into drugs or something, which is a possibility. <clears throat> I don't have a tattoo, but it's too much pressure and pain. I could probably handle the pain, but it's the pressure of like picking something out. That's the reason I haven't gotten one yet. I did have piercings when I was younger. I had ears pierced. I got two on this side and one on this side. 
but I haven't had my earrings in for years. I'm sure they're grown over. I don't know if you guys can still see the holes. You can see them. Or you can just stand next to me until I have holes there. Because I had some fairly good size gauged rings in at one time. <clears throat> I have a scar on my leg that I got from the 4th of July last year. Someone cover that up. Uh, do you have a firework accident? Because we Americans tend to blow stuff up on the 4th of July. I might be 6'1", but I support my short kings. <laughs> Wait, hold up. <laughs> I missed something. I still consider Pluto a planet, even if it's not. He's the OG short king, indeed. I'm not a very tall person. Maybe Pluto should be my planetary representation. I think I'll adopt Pluto as such. Uh, Leslie says he used to draw a lot, actually. Bloodleaf, you're a good man. Most wouldn't support short kings. I support short kings. <clears throat> is Megs your wife? Megs is my wife, indeed. I did. I, I should probably make that clear. I feel like most everybody picks up on it. Did, it. did everybody know that? Leslie says, dude, I wish it was a firecracker. Oh, I bet it was like a water slide or something. Was it like a water slide? Because that's the second coolest thing it could have been. <clears throat> Duncan says law, but blood leaf. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, Bird's pretty tall for a small plastic dude. Compared to my other action figures, Bert is the tallest, actually. <clears throat> Greek man says, I'm not short. I'm a little too tall. How tall are you? But you'll have to convert it to feet and inches because I can't I can't do metric, man. Sorry. <clears throat> a freaking shish kebab stick stabbed me. <laughs> it sliced me. <laughs> you got attacked by the grill food. I take that back. That's the second coolest thing that could have happened. That's that's a notch above water slide. So there's firecracker, stabbed by a shish kebab stick, and third place water slide incident. That's what I think. And Clanthus says, Good night, Bloodleaf. Are you heading out, Clanthus? Or just, just passing out your um, farewells? I'm going to do two more mugs now because it's time to post the short. Uh, you guys are probably going to find Bert in like two seconds, but it legit took me ten minutes to find Bert. And I hid Bert. So what I did is Monday, I recorded all of my shorts at one time, and I knew it when I did it. I was like, dude, you're going to forget where you hid Bert, and you're going to have to find him before you post these things. Or you're going to have to let people find him and then just like, you know, confirm that that is indeed, which is probably what I should have done. But I was like, I, you know, I have an opportunity to play my own game. So I did, and I found him. It took a minute. <clears throat> Uh, this is a, uh, that I made. You stabbed yourself in the leg. I was stabbed in the chest with a fondue fork before. <laughs> You're going to have to tell me that story, man. Uh, and Bloodleaf says, Night, Lanthus. And Liza says, LMAO, dude, it is so not cool. I got to hear this. I, all right, you guys got to put those stories in Discord, maybe. Uh, Kathy says, tattoo on my other wrist that says brat in Chinese my dad's nickname for me that has stuck with me even today with friends dad was born in China grandpa was a missionary uh, doctor in World War One oh well, that's very cool I, I think the tattoos with a story like that are great uh, did you in fact confirm uh, that that is what that says in Chinese though that someone didn't pull one over on you and write like rainbow princess or something <laughs> like, <laughs> something not brat because you know if I got a Chinese tattoo that would be a major concern for me because I can't read it I have no idea they, they got a whole bunch of letters they got a whole bunch of word letters uh, Bloodleaf did you use that same fork did you use the stabby fork uh, I don't know because I haven't measured myself. You haven't measured yourself? We have to measure ourselves. Every time we go to the doctor, they're like, well, they don't measure my height anymore, but they used to measure it a lot, like every time I went, <laughs> like up until I stopped growing. 
<laughs> uh, let's see. So, pretty sure. But actually, they should probably keep doing that because you shrink as you get older. They should probably do it like once every 10 years or so. I'm pretty sure I shrunk a little bit. <clears throat> Respect, Kathy. Yes, several times. Why Rainbow Princess? I don't know. It's just the first thing that popped into my head. Even Japanese have many letters. I got another call. What I missed? Kathy has a tattoo on her wrist that means brat in Chinese. And I asked if she's for sure that's what it means. And then she said yes. And also, I went on a tangent about something else, but I don't remember what it was. Um, oh, yeah. I, was, I told you to put your, um, your stabby story in Discord because I'm curious. <laughs> How? I don't know. It was just the first thing that popped into my head. Um, it could have been like home appliance or um, beanbag chairs or coffee pot. I don't know. It just happened. It was just Rainbow Princess. All right, last mug. One more for the road. Get in your last questions, comments, concerns, criticisms. Um, and I'm going to do the windy, windy, wind it down spiel. YouTube crashed again. Sorry about that, guys. It's done that two times. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, I'll share in Discord. Yeah, and you guys, I was about to do the, the wind down spiel, but I always forget to mention before signing off that the conversation does continue in Discord. Uh, so if you guys, don't, I don't know if you, uh, I don't know who all has access to Discord, but it's a chat program. We share pictures and whatnot, and also we play the Burt game in Discord often. You can either describe where Bert is in the comments and make it so that I I know that you understand exactly where he is, or you can submit a screenshot to the Discord. That's how we do it. Also, we do chit-chat and stuff. Like, I did a drawing of this weird dream I had last night. Or, not before last, but I did the drawing last night. Um, stuff like that. Little Leaf shares art. Uh, we have several people share art now. Uh, let's see... Google user says, this is the first time doing a live chat. It was fun. Hey, I'm glad you joined us. Please come again. I'm going to be live streaming again tomorrow at about the same time. It was like for a millisecond. Chad, why are you yelling my name? We do be finding bird out here. <laughs> no more pee contraption. <laughs> yeah. That was the drawing I did was of the pee contraption. You have to join Discord to find out what that means. It was, it was a whole thing. Oh, man. Oh, Bloodleaf, I didn't, um, you weren't here when we were talking about it. Meg suggested that we do some stickers for things. Like, I could have a sticker of the Peak Contraption. Um, I could do sticker, Burt stickers. It could be some prizes. Would you, would you like to have a Burt sticker? Um, but anyways, I will be back tomorrow about the same time. It'll be the last stream of the week, and I'll be deciding over the weekend whether I want to keep streaming every day or if I want to go back to three days a week. Uh, so far, been seeing some really good growth on the um, on the channel from doing the live streams. The live streams seem to do like be more successful than the long form videos, and I think they pair well with shorts. Like folks that are subscribed to me from shorts, which is like the lion's share of my subscribers, actually see the live stream come up. Uh, <laughs> Leslie says disturbing. All right, wait, hold up, missing stuff. Hi again, welcome back to you. Put Bert's beanie on because he might be cold without a shirt. It would be funny if he had a little apron. I know, I've said that too. He needs an apron just like me. Kathy says, have a great day. Hey, Kathy, thanks so much for joining. Uh, please come again. Uh, Bloodly says, you know what's funny? What's funny? And then a little wave hand. Uh, no, that's wild. Is a sticker of the Pikachu. <laughs> Actually, I was already making a sticker, so I'm going to surprise you in Discord. Dang it. Oh, yeah, we need to do some stickers. Uh, please tell me Bert is a sticker. Remember when I drew that fan art? After that, I started on some concepts because I have a, a cricket machine. I was going to make test runs. What's a cricket machine? So, you, like, you can make stickers, Bloodleaf? We may have to uh, have a conversation about this. Um, we're going to do some chatting. We'll do some talking about it. Anyways, you guys, I sure hope you have fantastically phenomenal days evenings whatever time it is for you afternoons afternoon here uh, immediately following the stream we're going to be posting the short for the day so prepare yourselves to find Bert he is findable 
because I found him. It took me ten minutes, but I found him. You guys are. I'm gonna be. In, you guys are gonna put me to shame. Because uh, if you sent stickers out on your orders, it'd be a nice touch. I agree. That'd be pretty cool. But I can't send pictures pictures out of uh, of Bert in my orders because people would be like, "What the hell's this? I've never ordered from this shop again." Uh, oh, I'm gonna look. You can make all kinds of crafts on a cricket. I gotta look up, look up what this cricket is. I guarantee you, my Megs knows what a cricket is. I find out. Bloodleaf, you're a pretty crafty dude. Bloodleaf makes all kinds of stuff. I'm pretty excited to see your uh, your puppet making skills on showcase on your channel. To me, that is very interesting because I mean, obviously, I make googly eyed stuff. Just be right in my alley. Uh, but you guys, thank you so much for joining hope to see you in the next one if you haven't already please like subscribe and um another awesome thing you can do is to share if you um, enjoy the show let your friends know have them to come in and chit chat jib jab with us as well but um you guys have good evenings maybe talk to you guys in discord if not talk to you tomorrow see you later